Ma'am, please silence your phone before we begin the podcast. <laughs> you should read the message out loud. I should read the message? You should read the message. Wow, Who's it from? It's from Unbean. Oh, that's me. What does it say? It says, send feet pics. <laughs> <laughs> I would never. Disgusting. Also. Prove it. I have show, to say. Show the podcast right now. Show everyone. <laughs> See, okay, so look, right, right here, I know a lot of you aren't used to Android phones, but up here... It says. It says what? Send feet pics. No, it doesn't. From Un Binarino. <laughs> um, also, me. I have to say that your. Do, do you know what your picture in my cell phone is? It's the Puerto Rican boot, isn't it? It's the Puerto Rican boot. <sighs> Did you know you're one of the few people that has a contact photo in my phone? <laughs> I recently got a new vehicle that's very high tech. <laughs> And when it was reading my contacts and I, I added him as, as a favorite, that picture took up the entirety of the screen. <laughs> Your screen's not a square either. It's a rectangle. It's a rectangle. Sounds super stretched. So it just says, no, it, I mean, it was, it was, it kept its, you know, ratio. Dimensions. Okay. Yeah. It kept its ratio, but it had like just bean added as favorite with and that image. <laughs> Oh, and then the Puerto Rican boot. Okay, so I almost did it at the dealership, and I'm kind of glad. I, I'm kind of <laughs> glad I didn't, but also a little bit disappointed. For those that don't know, the Puerto Rican boot is a, a terrible time in my life. When I was moving out of one apartment, and it was just proof that I'll do anything for content. That's the first thing, and the other thing is, is that I would rather at that point do anything rather than move. Yeah. Like yeah. I did. I did not want to. We had been packing for weeks like slowly and like that was the day that we lived on the top floor of our apartment complex it was, granted it was only like the fourth floor but the elevator broke and we had to move out that day and we brought a friend up from uh from town and it just he drove four hours just to watch me take a shot of puerto rican havana club out of a shoe that was not mine um then i also dumped the rest of the rum onto my printer because it broke i really i really should start in the same way that I, as a parent, want to record like the stupid shit that my kids say um, and have them written down and give them to them later. I should start recording a list of things that you do when faced with packing. Because as of right now, it is pour rum, pour olive oil all over your glasses, pour rum in a boot or a shoe that's not yours and drink out of it. Do a handstand against a wall. Uh, and uh, also pour rum all over a printer that was sitting halfway in your kitchen sink. You also forget about the one where I took a shower and mouthwash. You did, yeah. That was the first start I was of it. not. I was not physically present for that, but I, I, I did see the video for it. Also, are you talking... So your whole idea is to write stupid things down that I do yes. when I'm faced with this specific challenge. Well, do you yes. know what we did the last time we were about to move? We recorded the second episode of the podcast. It's, what you're describing is our podcast. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's come full circle. I had that I had that locked and loaded as soon as you said, I want a log of like the stupid shit that Nick does. I'm like, it's called a podcast. You're on it, baby. Ooh. <laughs> is this is this what it's like to to look at past mistakes and understand that it was entirely your fault? Yes, that was a lot like a pizza cutter, that statement right there. That was just a lot of edge but had no point i mean i was gonna spice it up and say you know do you ever look at your past and understand that it's your fault that your father left but Stop. I, you were that is the edgiest pizza cutter i've ever seen it's so many edges i mean it's good because you know pizza cutters only have one edge they're circular <laughs> also have you ever have you ever seen a sharp pizza cutter i haven't <laughs> I had a blaze pizza, that's I have, Yeah, I've, I've had to run over the same cut multiple times in anguish. <laughs> this uh, episode was brought to you by Blaze Pizza in that we... <laughs> that, you know, Bla blaze Pizza, this is what we have written down. Blaze Pizza, you'll spend just as much time cutting your pizza into slices as we spent making the pizza. Blaze Pizza, you, you don't use the promo code BEANS and you get pissed in the mouth. They'll piss yeah. in your mouth if you say beans. I don't even know if they have it just, on my just, website. Actually, actually, as a real quick, as a real quick aside to facing a cashier down and saying the word beans unprompted, um, you decided to order Chipotle for both of us online the other day. 
And I was so excited because you offered to pay for it. And I thought, wow, this is great. I'm getting a free meal. That's so nice of him. I will be sure to thank him. All you had to do was bring it to me. All I had to do was, was go pick it up and, and bring it to him at work. And and he texts me and says, okay, yeah, it should be ready for pickup at, at this time. Um, you'll see it. You'll see it. <laughs> and I go, I'm sorry? He goes, yeah, it's, it's under the name Bean Boy. B-O-I. <laughs> and I go... I'm sorry, I'm going to have to say this to this poor, overworked employee of Chipotle at the middle of the day rush hour, of lunch rush hour, and say it with a completely straight face. And it was really a toss-up, because sometimes they put it on that rack, that to-go rack, and sometimes they don't. And I was really faced with the fear. That's if your Chipotle is nice enough to even have the rack. You're right. Oh, boy. But, uh... It's a toss-up, and yeah. it just proves that no lunch is free. <laughs> tin Stoffel, baby. Shout-outs to all my people who passed high school econ and still know what Tin Stoffel is. I... Or learned Tin Stoffel later in life, in which case I'm sorry that you didn't know about Tin Stoffel earlier. I passed college econ, and I have no idea what you're tin talking Stoffel's about. Tin Stoffel's absolute shit econ policy. It sounds so. like a really bad uh, brand for a, um, what do they call that, like steel wool? Yeah, well, like steel wool is not free either. You know you're right. <laughs> okay, so Tin Stoffel, for those that don't know, it's an acronym that stands for there's no such thing as a free lunch. <laughs> Tin Stoffel! That's what Jesus said when he was passing out all the uh, fish and the loaves of bread. He said Tin Stoffel, you guys will only one day. <laughs> and he just, it was very uh, ominous. And then he just up and died. And, like, <laughs> and he just oh. <laughs> up and fucking got killed. Yeah. Can we get an F in the chat for Jesus? Okay, so... I don't, I don't see any Fs. Do you see any Fs? Uh, no, no, no. Here's the thing. I don't know if you've, like... Do you ever see things and, like, create words or create, like, sounds for them in your head? So, for instance, like, when you see a bunch of exclamation points, you, like, create a sound for that in your head? Uh-huh. As, like, a noise? There's right? a band that's just a bunch of exclamation points, and it's pronounced cha-cha-cha. I know. And they like to copy strike, and copyright strike every single one of the videos that I put out <laughs> with their music in it. So I stopped doing that. It was a little salty. Is it a little salty? Yeah, every spring, single spring one of, of salt. every single one of my videos is cop- is copyright uh, strike. Um, every single one gets flagged. Aside for, aside from that, um, I every time I just see can we get F's in the chat and people continue to spam F. All I can think of is just someone going <laughs> for like a long time, and then I remember that 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 meme originated from a, a funeral. Yeah, a really. <laughs> Terrible. <laughs> Press up to pay respects, my dude. And all I can think about is combining <sighs> and a funeral, and now I... It's just bad. It's a bad oh. mental image. What orifice makes the sound? Um, I'd rather not say. What orifice, what orifice are you making that sound with? It's a 50-50 toss-up. <laughs> Between what? I'll let you decide. <laughs> oh, you know. <laughs> Your options are left nostril or right nostril. Um, I, I should probably put a poll up in this part of the podcast on the YouTube video. Um, left nostril versus right nostril, which one do you think it is? Oh, see, I thought you were just going ahead and using that as a segue into the question, like, if you had to lose one, <laughs> left nostril or right nostril, like, which, which nostril would you keep? Oh, I have a, I have a deviated septum that I'm literally getting surgery for in five days. That's what I thought. It was, I was like, if you, if you... No, no, I can tell you exactly which nostril I would give up. And the okay. answer is probably just both. Right? Really? Fuck them. Would you, do you think, I think that the worst loss out of like completely losing your nose would actually be the cosmetic loss. A lot of people say like it's, you know, noses have to do a lot with senses. And believe me, I have a very strong nose. I would miss it. But I think the cosmetic loss and being called like Voldemort for the rest of my life, <laughs> <laughs> and that would just that would really every suck. zoomer would walk up to you and call you Voldemort. Yeah, and like nose prosthetics take so long to apply. They would call you Voldemort and then start Fortnite dancing. Can you just think about it? Right, think about. I don't know how long Fortnite's going to last or how long like those dances. I know those dances are already, previously existing. I think it's already done. I think the but people still do the Fortnite dances. Yeah, left the right? for sure. So that's what I'm saying yeah. is that I I right now it's mostly like kids or maybe even some young adults that do Fortnite dances. What would you do if faced with a like you are a grown adult, you've been paying taxes and you have a mortgage, mm-hmm. um, and you come face to face with another adult of the same stature and they 
laugh at you. They chug a beer at the bar and they start Fortnite dancing. Okay. So get this, right? As someone who I've thought about this deeply, actually. Okay. Because as someone that wants to be a teacher, I definitely want to explain things in like the worst way possible. Okay. In fact, one of the first segments that got cut from the first podcast that we did was poorly explain something. And um, I really wish I had a better topic for that. This is a good one. Because the way that I would poorly explain things is like just always end I would explain it the exact same way I normally would but then just end it with like so like they just start Fortnite dancing right so like <laughs> how does how does a body fight off an infection well you know the the macrophages and the white blood cells and the T helper cells and the naive uh, T cells all basically come together and start Fortnite dancing on the on the influenza virus so what happens is like a, a naive cell is just a white blood cell that hasn't Fortnite danced on, on bacteria. So as as a teacher in this case. They become mature T cells once they could successfully complete a floss. Singular floss. Don't forget to floss, kids. Yeah, don't forget to floss. Like, br- brush your teeth. Brush your tongue. How did you forget that? Right? How does everyone forget? Your tongue's oh. yellow. What are you doing? I can see it right now. I know you're looking at it. Brush your fucking tongue. Oh my god. No, okay. An aside before I, because I wanted to finish that thought was. Are you gonna um, go brush your tongue? No, I've already brushed my tongue. I brush my tongue <laughs> I said, all you the said time. no, and I said to fucking fight no, you. No, I always, I always brush my tongue. It's a very important part of life, right? So two, two segues, I think, or two, two things to say. One, um, as a teacher, before we, before we move on, as a teacher, would you be willing to then accept an answer that said the T cells Fortnite dance on the infectious bacteria? Like, do you? Do you accept that or do you still mark that wrong? Or do you just give it like an extra credit? Like how does that, how does that work in your grading skill? Because you've explained it poorly. This is your fault. Yeah. No, <laughs> I, I own up to it. That's definitely full credit. Okay. Okay. If, if they write the word, as long as they get the idea that the, like the macrophages and the T cells destroy like the, mm-hmm. the, uh, the foreign body, that's fine. That's all you need to know. Okay. How they do it? Not really. Whether they say flossing or orange justice, I don't care. Okay. Right? Like, <laughs> just <laughs> cell A, Fortnite dance, cell B. It's not hard. <laughs> it's just Fortnite dancing has been ingrained into every fiber of our being. We, you know, we might as well teach the kids about it. But on, on brushing your tongue, <laughs> I was in a room of a bunch of students. This was a capstone course, and we were designing projects for... Like, uh, we were given a prompt and our prompt was, was, you know, redesign a toothbrush, right? And what are some of the things that you would have to account for when using a toothbrush? And no one, you, can, you couldn't copy or anything. And no one, uh, no one said brushing their tongue. So I, in a group of, you know, 25 people, raised my hand and said, oh, people brush their tongue. Everyone, except for two other people in the room, looked at me like I was crazy one of one of those was a was a grown ass man with kids and and a wife and a mortgage and he leaned over to me and said and halitosis yeah he also <laughs> and he, said, he he leaned over to me and he said he said yeah right brushing your tongue is super important do you guys not brush your tongue oh fuck yeah that so, that guy yeah. is the only everyone else has halitosis yeah <laughs> it was great we agreed and we were the only two people in the class that were like yeah Brush your fucking tongue. Yeah, that's tongue. disgusting. Make sure before this episode is over, you, uh, you brush, brush your, your tongue. tongue. Yeah, for sure. That's disgusting. I'm brushing my tongue with alcohol currently, if it's not obvious. I'm actually, I perfected the art of being able to speak perfectly while brushing my tongue. It's actually the reason that, um, oh, what do they call it? The puppeteers? The... Ventriloquist. What, ven, that, that's actually how ventriloquists train. The, is that the, they, they the Venn diagrams, to, right? <laughs> <laughs> they, they train by brushing their tongue and speaking at the same time. What you didn't, one thing you didn't know about me is that I'm a mastery of ventriloquism, even though I didn't know what it was called yeah, just a couple has, seconds ago. <laughs> just as like a really good you know, Venn diagram, she, um, she deep throats a tongue scraper and has a puppet. I, thought, I don't know where I was going with that. I thought you were just going to say something nice, like she easily separates things into categories. <laughs> no, the joke was that Venn diagram is close to ventriloquist. I know. I thought you were going to describe the, the benefits of a Venn diagram. <laughs> uh, the differences and similarities between Jess and a ventriloquist. Um, everything. Ventriloquists are people. Jess is a person. Never mind. Sorry, we got that. We got one similarity between you and the profession that is ventriloquism. 
Ventriloquists are sometimes ghosts, according to uh, the movie Dead Silence. What? No, we're not gonna do that. No, no, <laughs> no, no, no. I'm not. That's a bait right there. That's that's bait, and I'm not biting. You guys can bite. You guys can look that up. We're not gonna talk about that. We're, we're no organic stuff only. Not <laughs> not dead things. Organic. Actually... Speaking of organic, you guys already know this is a, a farm. Farm to podcast opportunity right here. Um, I'm bringing you with the freshest news. Today's date, you know, usually I don't like to date the episodes by mentioning current events. I'm definitely mentioning current events. Um, Today is January 22nd, 2020. The impeachment hearings have just started. And this on on this segment of Farm to Podcast where we talk about the current events, we're going to talk about the massive tweet that was dropped by Planters Peanuts earlier today. This is the thing I was telling you about that I was that I, I wanted to record today so I could hold this for you. Hold on. What are you doing? Oh, oh, fuck yeah, Jess. <laughs> Grip it and rip it. <laughs> tell, tell the audience what you're drinking there. Um, this is just straight ass crack. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> she, she cracked I open just... a nice fucking can. 12.8 fluid ounces of ass crack. Yeah. If you, if you, you boys my, aren't drinking these. My favorite know. IPA, ass just... crack. <laughs> Not to be <laughs> confused with its, with its hazy IPA cousin, if you will. Um, salty ass crack. You said cousin, and all I could think of was that uh, meme that was straight out of a math book that was like, my cousin, whatever, a skateboarder, and it was the most wild name I think I've ever seen. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Throckmorton. Throckmorton, <laughs> yes, yes, Throckmorton is <laughs> such a good one. <laughs> like, everyone's like, I'm sorry, my cousin who? Um, no, my favorite thing was that I, I first encountered that meme, and then I continued scrolling further down my newsfeed, and it was a picture of someone lighting a uh, skate ramp on fire and someone said yo my cousin Throckmorton would shred this <laughs> Jesus Christ. he's got the right chassis or whatever I don't know wheels board. Oh, look I'm a Tony Hawk stan that's all I say <laughs> I'm a Tony Hawk pro skater stan I can't believe they turned Tony Hawk from pro- from Tony Hawk pro skater into a person yeah can you like Insane. imagine getting those papers like wow yeah imagine <laughs> just like being born out of the test tube of a PS1 <laughs> I mean, like, I, I know that people are trying to name their kids things like hashtags today, but, like, Tony Hawk's a little too far. Like, that's... <laughs> Into Blue, they did yeah, it 20 years ago. Tony Hawk, wow. Yeah. He should be our next guest. Yeah, well, actually, we'll dial him in for sure. Um, but let me tell you about the Planters Peanuts right, I'm tweet sorry, that I'm I was... Sorry, I got the, the absolutely epic thing that they tweeted earlier today. <sighs> okay, I'm ready. I'm just paraphrasing the tweet here because I don't have it, right? Oh, okay. Because I don't want to look at it. Oh, oh. So okay. you know the mascot, Mr. Peanut? Uh, this is... It's... The one with the cane and the yeah. top hat? Okay. Yeah. Okay. I, I wasn't... How, how, old, how long do you think he's been the mascot for Planters Peanuts? Give me a, a year range. How um, long do you think he's been the mascot for Planters Peanuts? I was going to say since uh, racism was super commonplace, but it's still like that. So um, before the silver screen, maybe. <laughs> so like earlier than the 50s, maybe 40s or 30s. Okay. So give me how many years old do you think Mr. Mr. Peanuts That's is? math. Hold on. We're, what year is it? <laughs> <laughs> it's 2020 um i'd say 70 years old you think he's 70 years old i think he's 70 he years is old. 104 years old what the fuck and you know what he's not getting any older did it just go what happened planters peanuts tweeted out today that mr peanut died at the ripe old age of 104 years old they killed him mr peanut is dead do you think they ate him i think they boiled him I have better news that's going to make you fucking hate your life. And this is why I had to keep it a secret. And we had to record today so that you wouldn't run into this. Because I know it's going to be all over the internet tomorrow. Okay. Okay. Guess what they're doing to, you know, in, in honor of Mr. Peanut. Okay. What? What? I'm sorry. I'm still a little I'm just going to give you a couple, a couple of ideas, right? Okay. I got number one, Super Bowl. Number two, ad. Number three, in the third quarter. Number four, for his funeral. They're having a funeral procession in one of the commercial breaks in the third quarter of the Super Bowl for Mr. Peanut. Okay, okay, okay. Now, This now. fictional character. No, 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 no. <laughs> is it going to be... Now, I, now I, there's so many questions coming to my mind. Because first of all, my first thought is press F to pay respects. My second... <laughs> mm. And I will be... I really would... Do you know if anywhere is like streaming where like a chat 
for the Super Bowl because <laughs> I will tune in exclusively for that commercial in order to put an F in the chat. Okay, so you've heard about this, right? Where they people take like pay-per-view events, right? Yes, and they yes. stream them on Twitch pretending to play that category of game. Yes. So like they'll, yeah, they'll yeah, stream UFC it. fights and they're, they'll just be playing like a game and they'll just be pretending that they're playing a game so they green screen themselves into the video and they like have a they'll controller just, yeah, in their hands and they're like they're just jacking off and it's like yeah pretty much they're pretending <laughs> wow that was the side of my chair quiet just... on the set please yeah damn <laughs> I said silence your phones and then my fucking DX racer exploded your uh your DX racer was just pressing F to pay respects too yeah it you was just, like you made, you made him upset okay yeah it's... I told him that his idol Mr. Peanut is fucking dead no more this chair no longer has a reason to live and this is your fault <laughs> It's just gonna fall apart. Of me. Okay, but hold no. So okay, real quick, is is this commercial going to be? Because like so many thoughts are in my head, right? Is it gonna be live action? <laughs> is it going? Is it is it live action? They like cut to you know like the open casket and it's a literal peanut just like sitting on the, like sitting on the pillow. Is it like? <laughs> <laughs> There's a full cane. Um, yeah, yeah, like it's there's like a peanut. full top hat yeah. and everything, but, and a it a, but it is a tiny, a tiny peanut. Oh my god! <laughs> or, or, like, or is it like two D animated? You know, like old, maybe old style, like kind of like Cuphead. Like that'd be kind of cool. Uh-huh. Like a like an old homage. That that would be a unique way to do it. Or third option, is it going to be terribly three D animated, like Food Fight? Because I think he was a brand in Food Fight. I think, one, they should show his corpse. So just show him in Food Fight. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Show me the body or I don't believe it. That's no, honestly, it. that's how it is. The other thing is, I, whatever it is, I can't wait for the 2.5D uh, <laughs> anime adaptation on Netflix. Will they make it a sexy peanut? Like, like an anime boy peanut with like anime eyes? Or... Is it? No, hear me out. Hear me out. Right? Yeah. I, I can tell this right now. Twelve episodes. It end. It just ends with that commercial from the Super Bowl. We need to talk about which brands are furries secretly. 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 Because I think like Tony the Tiger is pretty obvious. No. See, I would. I would say that Tony the Tiger is actually uh, given canon evidence against furries. <laughs> So, so banned, banned, banned. That none of you are free of sin. <laughs> All of you will receive the hammer. So, I actually would say that to the tie. So, certain brands that you know, like the first thing you think of is usually not the case. For instance, I think, like, could you could you see a tail on this peanut on this over one hundred? I knew peanut? you were going there. I knew it was going to be like Mr. Peanut Safari. Don't know how we came to this. No, look. I saw a tail on someone walking around the other day, and like, no judgment, but like, it, I. Yeah, we were at Tiffany Ever Sleeps. It was a fun time. We watched the Beyblade tournament. The Beyblade tournament. We'll, go, actually, we'll go into that in a second. It was Hold actually on. fucking. I sick. just want to. I want to complete this this but, conversation first. Yeah. No, I I remember seeing that too. That was. It just. I have to say, it just shocks me. Like. I understand that like furries are the going to be the next thing that like get rights. Yeah. But... Stop! Don't say that. <laughs> don't say it like that. That's so, that's so terrible. This is I know, not. I know. I know. This is not like an oppression thing. I just. I would definitely say they're they're oppressed. Oh, their... absolutely. Much more so than gamers. Can I say? What that? did you just Can fucking say? say? Just you can't say that. This is... <laughs> just what the fuck? <laughs> oh my god! First, me Mr. Peanut dies, and all of a sudden she thinks you know gamers are all of a sudden not the most oppressed. God, what is this world coming to? Yeah. Did you not just hear Joe Biden Women say not... that? Women not. Women not calling gamers oppressed? What? Did you just hear about what Joe Biden said? I don't like listen to called, anything Joe Biden He says. called an indie development... like he, I think it was an indie game studio. It was just a game studio. He referred to the people that work there as little creeps who make games who teach you how to kill people. And someone was like, wait until you hear about the fucking military. <laughs> Dickhead. Yeah, wow. Yeah, I know. Fuck that. <laughs> Anyways. Um, yeah, I think we'll, we'll transition on this one with the fact that... Um, you know, God isn't quite dead, so let's just let's just finish the job. With some, I'm just gonna rattle some things off, and you're just gonna give me some opinions on them, okay? Okay. Can we get back to the Beyblade Beyblade tournament afterwards? Yeah, because that was a very number one moment number one Beyblade tournament. Um, very wholesome. Yes. Like, I have to just it was it was very wild. Okay, so we have. Can I give names? No, not give names, but talk about like our location because there's a thing about our location currently. That influences kids. Yeah, they know we're from Florida. Okay, okay, cool. We have a thing near us that's like a specifically a kids parade. 
that goes wild on the weekends, that particular weekend that happened to be that Blade Blade tournament. And I looked around and that this this parade just always gets out of hand. There's always, you know, some drunk parents that are unhappy to be there. It's always just a big mess, right? So much so that, you know, the kids want to go, but a lot of people want to actively avoid it because they just don't want to deal with it. Um, on that weekend, we, on that day, I looked around at this Beyblade tournament and saw so many, like, happy families, like, kids that were just genuinely excited to be there and participate, and I felt so, and I was like, this, I don't care, I would never grow up with Beyblade, but, like, I want my kid to participate in a tournament like this. Like, this is fun, this is wholesome, the guy that ran it, like... Yeah, 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 like, it was a bunch the, of... The prizes were dope, like, I... Yeah, it was a bunch of CEO people from Orlando, uh, Community Effort Orlando is the the full title there were like four of them that were all in bracket and one of them was running the entire tournament he got second which was really cool they all lost to like some 14 year old that had you know gotten out of the kids division for beyblade because i don't know what the cutoff is right i hope it's like eight was he was he really 14 <laughs> yeah no he couldn't have he couldn't have been older than i'm so 15. old i'm so bad at judging kids kids age ages now yeah can't mm-hmm. speak english i'm so bad like i look at any kid i'm like that is a child i i couldn't tell you their age the other thing is it was a very stark difference to see like the the florida special where it's like yeah it's 10 a.m i have either a beer can or a white monster in my hand and i'm just gonna tell you that i hate my wife right like yeah it was just a bunch of families and i remember we walked out and there was a family that was walking out and there was this girl that had just participated in the blade blade tournament she had like the shirt from the anime on her dad was like carrying like the the plastic arena that they brought she had all of her Beyblades in her hand and her mom was just like guess what we signed you up for another one next week. And she's like, oh, I know. <laughs> and she like, even though she already knew, she like exploded at the thought of that. And I don't think I personally have felt anything like what that girl was feeling. Oh, oh, I have to say that's this. this... Even like when I started playing games competitively, <clears throat> I didn't get like that. I was like, oh, cool. A local. I can't wait to go. Oh, yeah, too. I as like, like as like a wholesome <laughs> thing. I truly want my kids to get that involved with things and like have that much of a passion for things because like i don't know i i'm usually annoyed by being around kids you know screaming crying stuff like that but this was one of those instances in which like being around being like surrounded in this arena that was definitely like controlled by the kids and controlled by like them in the audience it was just very wholesome and i was like wow no capitalism here pure childhood bliss we love to see it they're selling 30 to 100 dollar plastic spinning tops you're right it's definitely capitalism. you're right you're right it just didn't it didn't like feel it wasn't it wasn't like the kids choice awards or anything you know it wasn't like ah oh, sponsored by da, da, da. you know like it just it felt very yeah genuine like you know that you know that that girl doesn't care what her beyblade costs you know well, she doesn't i don't even think she understands yeah that. yeah but still like that's that's the part of that's part yeah. of any kid sometimes you buy weird trinkets that don't work like anything out of the 90s Anything from the 90s doesn't work. <laughs> Including us. Yes. <laughs> Remember how last episode how we pretended to break up? <laughs> oh, we were pretending? Yeah, I was going to say, let's for real this time. Like, for real, for real. So that everybody knows. <laughs> That's cute. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Jeez. Um, our, our impending divorce aside. <laughs> the two things I wanted to talk to you about. Or do you remember those commercials i don't know if uh your sister ever had one but those it, it was essentially a flat iron but it it was like uh, it had waves in it so that it would crimp your hair using heat my sister did not have this but i know what you're talking about okay, i had a very remember, close friend that did they were all over the disney channel too like they would crimp the girl's hair yeah no, I remember there was the, the last the last movie like disney channel's ish movie i ever watched where crimping one's hair was like a thing in style crimping not even all of your hair but like portions of your hair and in the same way that you would like color a streak in your hair you would for some fucking reason crimp one part of your hair because the 90s were stupid and 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 they despite what everyone thinks very much overflowed into the early 2000s so aquamarine was the last movie i ever watched where people dyed streaks in their hair and crimped portions of their hair as like a style and um, it was in preparation for the last splash dance where... Uh, <laughs> Wait, isn't that the thing that they do at the end of uh, Stranger Things as well? Yes. Quote, unquote, <laughs> teens of various ages because I'm pretty sure the two leads were definitely in their 20s while uh, Dude, some of the characters were like 
definitely 16. Disney Channel was so, like, <laughs> rampant with that. Like, what was oh, it? Jason terrible. Earls from Hannah Montana was, like, literally 30-something when they filmed Hannah Montana. I, and they're like, yeah, you're her, like, 16-year-old brother. And I he's think, like, huh, right on, kiddos. I, I, wouldn't, think, I wouldn't let that kid near. I wouldn't let that guy near school. Oh, yeah. No, I absolutely would, not. I like, think that I'm, I'm really upset with Disney Channel because growing up, granted, I didn't watch a ton of it, but, like, growing up with Disney Channel and, like, any of those, you know, like, kids and teens movies, I... They just really downplayed the amount of, like, oil that you would experience in on your hair, your face, your body, others. Like, they really downplay all of those, like, sensory inputs that make going through puberty the worst thing ever. And, like, I re- like n- never in my life did I ever look as good as any of those teenagers or, or young adults on those shows at any point. And I'm still upset about it. Just what, what was the word that you used? What was the keyword that you used there? Oil. Say it one more time. I can hear the helicopters approaching. <laughs> if you say it one more time, the U.S. Army is allowed to set foot into this house. It's like it's like Bloody Mary, but with the U.S. government. Yeah, but with the government, and they they just basically airstrike you. Please get my house no, airstruck. They're busy doing that to other places, actually. <laughs> they have time. I know they have the money. I know damn well they have the money. Okay, let's not get political. <laughs> I can't do this right now. Okay, so um, this is another segment where look at that. Jess, look at your phone. We've hacked into everyone's cellular telephone devices. If you're watching this, your phone has been hacked. So um, you're going to vote right now on, on your phones with the following Damn, buttons, you thought right? that uh, you thought that photo, that photo vault was secure? Now, nah, bitch. I guessed your password in two seconds. Jess, I'm talking about my photo vault. That's where I keep all the feet pics. Um, <laughs> yeah, or memes about people putting their flashlights in the oven. That. <laughs> Anyways, let's get to voting. Um, I'm not going to share that meme. If you want it, you can DM me on any platform and just say, like, show me the picture of the No, that should, be, that should be a scary story. That, no, no, no. Yeah, next week on a IRL Stein, we talk about scary stories. And the first one is about parents that confuse someone's flashlight in the freezer um, to vegan meat. And they they ate it. Uh, they, they ate or... the flashlight. They, they took a bite out of the flashlight, said it tasted like rubber, and then threw it away. Anyways, the picture is horrifying, which is why I'm not going to share it. If you if you don't want to look it up, you can and just have you know the FBI put you on a list for the rest of your life. You can just DM me, and I will send it. Goddamn omnis! <laughs> <laughs> it is such a cursed picture. Anyways, so with your phone, go to uh, the the phone function, right? The the thing that the phone was originally supposed to do. Go go to all the phones, right? Stop. <laughs> <laughs> They're bringing that back. I don't want to so talk about So press it. one if you want to continue to talk about things from the 90s. Um, and press two if you want to talk about um, the next thing I have on the list that has to do with mashed potatoes. And press three if you want us to... Oh, look at that. Jess, they picked number two. They want us to talk about mashed potatoes. Okay, next next segment, um, mashed potatoes. Would walking through a field of mashed potatoes hurt? Yes. That was quick. It wouldn't hurt your body, per se, because it's mashed potatoes. Everyone understands the consistency of mashed potatoes. Mm -hmm. It would hurt my soul. The mind, yeah. It would hurt my soul and my mind, specifically because I want you, everyone listening, to imagine the feeling of mashed potatoes going between your toes. Like, imagine, like, you, like, someone drops... Why, the... why do we keep talking about feet? Stop. Stop. <laughs> no, 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 but that's, like, a Just, I don't want to picture myself ankle deep in a field of mashed potatoes. Look, it's the whole thing, it's the whole reason that, like, whenever people talk about, like, oh, yeah, haha, give, get, like, the real experience, you know, like, go, like, grape mashing or something, how that's, like, a, like, a fun thing to do, like, yeah. for some reason. If, I'm sorry, if there's anything but, like, general ground, but, like, underneath my feet, I'm freaking out. If it's, like weird feeling sand or even like a little bit of water on like what is what's happening this is like i'm it's like a wet sock but always i threw away <laughs> trash because my dog threw up on the carpet earlier um she threw up whole ass cashews anyways that's not the point i that was terrible i hate that i hate my family for feeding my dog that it's terrible if they're not good for her, don't feed your dog nuts ever they can't process them they, if you feed them a whole peanut, it's gonna come out as a whole peanut. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, if a human, if humans have allergies to it, odds are dogs do too. So that's a good thing to live by. I never thought about ever that. feeding your dog anything. 
if uh, if yeah if humans have an allergy to it then dogs likely cannot process it with their stomach so. i don't even know where i was going with that i just said that oh yeah so i threw it away and as i was throwing the trash out i stepped in mud just like i took one step outside the one step that it takes me for to get from my garage to where my garbage bins are and i just stepped square in mud and that was honestly worse than having to pick up the dog vomit wow really that feeling was the i was not expecting Were it you barefoot yes oh god <laughs> You may be asking, why are you barefoot picking up dog vomit? But like, I mean, I was in my house. Yeah, no, like, and your trash can's two feet less than. And we keep talking about feet, so this is just something I had to bring up. That was a unit of measurement, damn it. (laughs) Feet is also a unit of measurement. You were a meter from your house. (laughs) (laughs) You were uh, a 200 centimeters. I would, oh, God, can you imagine if we had to measure things like. Always in centimeters, like if you if there was not like I pref- okay no 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 no, no. personal I'm not talking right about as metric. someone no 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 no, 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 no. no. That, that is the metric system no, 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 no. I'm not talking I'm talking about it'd be the same way like as if 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 the medium portions of increments did not exist so if you removed meter and it was just like you had to measure things either in kilometer or, or, centimeters. or centimeters that's what I'm talking about so if that if that middle ground did not exist could you imagine how frustrating that would be there's decimeters which are just one tenth instead of one one hundredth. No, I mean, I, math is stupid and time doesn't a, exist. I there's get There's also a <laughs> step up from meters. It would still be I forget frustrating. What, I forget what they're called. I, yeah, see, then they're not important. That's the point. <laughs> they're, they're not something that comes intuitively. To whereas, like, I could, I could eyeball a meter. I cannot eyeball, like, 400 centimeters. That's the difference. <laughs> if you knew the conversion, you probably could. Yeah, but who's going to memorize that bullshit? And like, but what I'm saying, that conversion wouldn't exist if meters didn't exist. Isn't it, what, 2.52 centimeters to an inch? Wow, who went to college? Great. I'm, I'm looking it up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking it up. Well, you're just going to stand there. 2.54. I was so close. I forgot even what you said. 2.52. That's actually very close. Basically the same thing. I really, just speaking of like strange um, breakdowns of units of measurement, femtosecond has just popped up a lot in conversation and I enjoy the sound of it. I use that a lot. I yeah, I enjoy I enjoy using any kind of phrase with femtosecond. I don't know why. What is it? It's ten to the negative twelfth or thirteenth? I'm really We're gonna go over Welcome to the segment where we talk about math. <laughs> like... One quadrillionth of a second. Ten to the negative fifteenth. God, I'm too off on everything. Earlier, you asked me how long a giraffe's tongue was, and I said 22 inches, and then we Googled it, and it was 20 inches. Off by two. Yeah. Off by two inches. Mm-hmm. Every single time. Or off by two units. Yep. Whatever. It doesn't matter. Two inches is all you need. Am I right, Jess? Most people are off am, by two inches. Am I right, Jess? <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, I'm going to take a sip of my uh, ass crack juice. I forgot what I called it. It was ass crack. It was, it was ass crack. It was your ass crack IPA. <laughs> Ayo. <laughs> oh, uh, also, a brewery near us just came out with a new beer called Florida Man, and I'm eager to try it. I, I know that it's just a You gimmick. didn't want to give away our location, then you literally just did by saying that. They could just look that up. They also could look up Kids Parade in Florida. What do you think would pop up? Or Beyblade tournaments in Florida, and you're literally going to find two of them. Yeah, we also discussed CEO. Look, if you want to find us and murder us, like, I'm down. Please? Episode. Okay, so the last segment I want to talk about because we don't have that much longer, and I don't want this to be an hour long. I need to go to sleep. Yeah. Yeah, I also need. I, I, also have, to... I have work tomorrow. <laughs> um, infrared, more like infrared dead. How do you feel after your first session at infrared sauna? Um, I expected to be a lot more like out of it, mm-hmm. but I think not coming directly from a workout and getting into a sauna helped me feel a little bit less dead. I have to say that it was the most relaxed I have felt since childhood (laughs) and I didn't have to pay over a hundred dollars for it and it was only 30 minutes so I have to say that like in terms of cost and time efficiency it was the most relaxed I think I how much did you pay for this session um I don't think I I think in this case I didn't pay anything because I bought the membership for it oh yeah yeah she just signed me straight up and and used it as as your first one yeah so technically, I paid. I don't know, what's, we have we have membership. We both have what's separate one fourth of like twenty seven dollars. It doesn't matter. Um, <laughs> yeah, the uh, it's four dollars. So Wait, no, right. one fourth is seven dollars. So I paid less than ten dollars, basically. Yeah. Anyways, um, yeah. So we both we both have separate 
We both have separate uh, memberships to an infrared sauna place where we live. And I tried it for the first time like three weeks ago. And I fucking love it. Today was my fifth time going in three weeks. Um, I, I've gone like twice a week, essentially. You know, I, I didn't... when I you love, first. I love dry saunas. I love wet saunas. And I like infrared saunas the most. Um, I definitely want to talk more in depth about like what they are and what you know differentiates all of them and like what some of the benefits are. But I also don't want this episode to be two hours long. Yeah, I think I think going beyond the benefits of it because uh, your body's obviously I, the way that the best way to sum it up is your body is designed to sweat, um, it removes a lot of toxins and can help with just a lot of circular functions just around the body. And circulation. Circulation. Thank you. Circular. Huh. So is what I know. Don't listen to me. But um, other than that, I... Jess, like, doesn't even know what a centimeter is, so... You're right. I can't even eyeball a centimeter, so... <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, neither can I. I'm off my point, too. Always. Always. But, <laughs> so, um, I think that what shocked me the most about the infrared sauna was that the when you described it earlier as you get in it and it's just essentially like a warm... You're just laying on, like, a warm bed and then suddenly in like the matter of a minute you are covered in sweat i agree it was i got about halfway through the session and i was like i mean i'm really not sweating that much and then i blinked and i was just like someone had dumped a bucket of water on me it was rather wild and i i thought that you were exaggerating or that you know it would differ between us just as as people but no it just it really just hits you and like wow it was kind of wild it was very luxurious it was a very luxurious feeling for like 30 minutes yeah it was really nice i literally just popped in headphones and i this is the second time it's happened but i dead ass just fell asleep in it see i haven't i haven't felt granted it's my first time but i've, I I've been really tired it, yeah like for a while so like I, I needed it right like my eyes were like I, I wasn't gonna keep them open yeah like that just wasn't happening for I half think, an hour i think if i had worked out this morning or like gone on a run this morning mm-hmm. i would have been totally out in there but that's the problem is that unlike you you have like timers where you can kind of like wake up because mm-hmm. there's there's no indicator while you're in there whether or not time is yeah up. for the one that we have there's not like an alarm that goes off you're just supposed to like get up and get out yeah and so, after 30 minutes in there you definitely just want to get up and get out yeah no like absolutely you, 30 minutes is definitely the appropriate amount of time yeah no especially like you get down to the last three minutes and you're like huh, huh, all right you're just staring at the <laughs> clock you're like please you're like i need to get this la- this last sweat out of me but like wow oh i did not anticipate how this was unlike the other songs that i'd been in um I did not anticipate how ravenous I was going to get. Like I, very not even like because I've gotten out of the other out of the other saunas and I've gotten like thirsty and I've been like man I need water. Nothing like how eating a bowl at Chipotle is though. Like the thirstiest I ever am is right after I eat something at Chipotle. I don't know why, but I need to inhale like twice as much Just, water. This is the third time <laughs> this podcast that you've mentioned eating Chipotle. I told you what I was drinking, right? It's all related, okay. <laughs> My point, my point is that um, I just like really wanted to inhale a lot of bread <laughs> when I got out of the sauna. Chipotle doesn't even have bread. No, I I just meant because like, we had we had we had those rolls which I Kaiser rolls Kaiser rolls Kaiser yeah. rolls. That was my first time having a Kaiser roll. Damn, that was good. So I'm just thinking about a lot of food right now, and I shouldn't be because it's late. You ate, yeah. But like, food was good today. Food's good. Brush your tongue. <laughs> Brush your tongue after you eat. Brush your tongue. Um, Sorry, that was a long rant. Had no point. But yeah, like, absolutely not. Um, <laughs> just so, describing my sauna experience. Let's start talking about food. Yeah, infrared Dumb. saunas are different from. Uh, for those of you that don't know, it's basically this tube that you just like lay down in. You can go in your underwear. You can go in your bathing suit. You can go completely ugh, naked if you want. And it don't doesn't. Say it like that. <laughs> that's what I want to do. Don't say um, that word. That's what I want to do. I'll go in naked all I want. You know. A few moments later. So basically what I'm saying is that sometimes Pokemon don't choose not to wear clothes. Like they choose to be naked so that they're more aerodynamic. That's what I'm saying. Like Meowth totally understands the concept of clothes, chooses to be naked. What about Pokemon? I can't, I can't, I can't respond to that. (laughs) (laughs) Was it because I talked about Meowth consciously choosing to be naked or is it because I used the word naked? It's definitely the latter. <laughs> I I had a response and I it just flew out the window. <laughs> you just cried. I I am actually <laughs> Wow. All right.
I never want to hear that word. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so you can lay in the sauna. Now that it's been like 20 minutes. Um, you can like lay in, you basically lay in this tube, right? And um, you're totally fine. You're like, oh, okay, this is whatever. And then it gets warm. And then you're like, you're comfortable, right? And that's when you're like, ah, okay, this is nice. And then about like 10 minutes goes by. And all of a sudden you are just a fucking puddle. And like the snap of your fingers, you're like, I just feel water falling off of me. What's going on? And then you look. Right, like you have like the little curtain that's separating your head from the rest of your body, much like a magician's box kind of thing, and you're just submerged in water. <laughs> yeah, Pools it really is. Of it it really is wild. Um, but I, yeah, I like it because I because I don't get the lightheaded feeling um, from the infrared from the infrared sauna. Like your your head is completely separate because your head doesn't need to fucking sweat. What is that gonna do? Right, you're gonna work out your hair muscles. I don't I don't know. What, I don't even know what you do. Anyways. It's not, like, hard to breathe in, like a wet sauna, and it doesn't give you that really shitty head feeling like a dry sauna can if you stay in for too long. You could sit in that infrared sauna if you kept that on a lower heat intensity for fucking hours. You could sleep in that thing if you put it on a low enough setting. I, yeah, I actually do like, love. <laughs> like a full eight hours you could sleep in there. I have to say, I haven't, the only thing that I've found about the infrared saunas that I do not like, granted, this is not me personally, I think this is just a flaw with them, is that um, they really only accumulate up to a certain height. So that's yes. not a problem so for me. I have a very interesting story about this. Okay. Because I know why. Okay, go for it. Okay. So infrared saunas are very small. They're very narrow. They're not for people that are, I would imagine, anyone that's larger than 180, 190 pounds could not fit in one of those. Um, I, I feel like that's a fair estimate. As someone yeah. who's recently been that weight. Um, <laughs> oh, yeah, I would say yes. Up, up until like last year yeah the that was like probably where it was like where you would just kind of like fill into the tube as if you were a liquid um instead of a liquid coming off of you and that is because every single infrared sauna that's made is made in japan every single one of them comes from japan it's a japanese invention infrared saunas are from japan the idea the manufacturing everything they just ship them over here right so they're not made for a lot of americans and the way that i found this out was from this old guy in a sauna, in a dry sauna, at a U-fit from the town that we live in. And oh, he was telling us oh about God. why he only goes to dry saunas because wet saunas are hard to breathe in. And infrared saunas, he starts going off, right? And then basically he gives us, he's like, the number one reason I'll never use an infrared sauna just to tell me not to say this. He goes, this dude goes, it's because the Jap it's because the, <laughs> the technology comes from the Japs, referring was, to the Japanese. I was I'm gonna, gonna tell you not to use. Yeah, don't use. That I'm gonna sweater. bleep that out. Okay, right? good. Um, <laughs> it's really like you can't you can't say that. <laughs> that's definitely already been bleeped out, right? Um, so he said that, and I was like, whoa, I'm fucking out of here. Like, I'm not. Yeah. I'm not doing whatever. He just he's like, you're gonna get cancer from it because you can't trust them. And I was like, ah, Jesus. Okay. okay. So then the first thing I do is hop in an infrared sauna, and now I love it. Yeah, no, but hold, I, I want to, if I can segue to the fact that twice in this week, and I blame it on the fact that I've been around, like, car dealerships, um, twice in this week, someone has led into a, into a statement to me as, this might sound a little racist, but... That I've heard, that I've heard that tw two different people we don't have associate, told me this. We don't associate with them. Like, no, it's... I mean, yeah, these are these are but don't, no, these are random. Like, no, don't associate with those people. It's just wild. <laughs> Two random strangers to me, that were just I, I was oh god, it was so obviously the comments that followed were not okay. But like, why would you ever say that to someone? Like, if you if you have to yeah, start the sure. conversation out with that, it just it was driving me nuts. I, I it was just wild because I hmm. usually am never around that, and then I heard it twice in one week. I was like, what is happening? <laughs> Where am I? But yeah, no, I, it's, on the infrared sauna topic, I am partially upset that we have that person to, to blame for, you know, an activity that now we both enjoy no, and actually, causes you know a lot why? of relaxation. A coworker, um, gave us a, a gift card. Oh, is that how you found this one? Yeah. Okay. It was, it was Cindy. She better. gave us a $60 gift card, so it was three people's worth of saunas for their first try that's at dope. that place so the three of us went we how do you feel about time. iv drips then like your thoughts about like the health ivs you know where they just put a lot of like i haven't had one i assume most of it's just like b vitamins and like what are the d5 
DR5. Is that what it's called? <laughs> it's dexterous 5%. I feel like most people, in a general way, like like as a general blanket statement, D5W. Most people do not. Yeah, dexterous get in water. The amount of water and vitamins that they do in like that they need to have. Well, this is just sugar water. Yeah, but like it does, but it does something for you. It, it's supposed to help you, correct? Like you wouldn't be putting it in your body otherwise. I mean, I haven't right? done it. I don't just go around putting like, fluids my in my point, body. My point is that like snake oil is snake oil, but this thing like has taken off as a market. It's not like. In today's age, Just, <laughs> please, I would never, ever consume snake oil. I'm vegan. Dumbass. That almost went through my nose. I was trying really hard to slip Good. loudly. <laughs> Good. I would have had it on recording, too. Oh, Lord. I know I don't have my camera plugged in, but I, I would have, just for that moment. I mean, no, I think I think you would have definitely heard it. Enter my sinuses. Speaking of sinuses, that's another bonus, I think. The big bonus of the infrared sauna is that nothing goes near your sinuses. <laughs> so you get to keep them? Yeah, you get to keep your sinuses. Yeah, they don't it's really off. nice. Yeah. Yeah. Anyways, um, that has been this episode of the podcast. Do you have a way to end this? Absolutely not. That was just a, a real rowdy conversation we had today. If I had more of this ass crack juice, I might be able to burp into the microphone. I've but... had a lot of um, <laughs> salty ass crack juice. Remember the hazy IPA? Oh, is that what you're calling it? That was the joke, yeah. Refer back to <clears throat> 30 minutes ago. I just thought you were referencing Purple Haze again. Because <laughs> everything references Purple Haze. Oh, you mean the stand from JoJo's? That's That inspired the Prince song? Yeah. Yeah. You know Prince, an avid watcher of JoJo's. Yeah, yeah. Tell me that... He saw Joe's game and was just like, I, I gotta. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Actually, you can if you look really closely at a lot. Of you know, we went songs, this we went this whole <laughs> fucking podcast without talking about JoJo's. We talked a little bit about anime with the I Netflix mean, adaptation of Mr. Peanut's death. You can cut this out, but no, this is staying. In. I have to say, not a day goes by that I don't think about think about my boys. So I have one and a half JoJo's tattoos. I have a. An actual JoJo's tattoo and a JoJo's inspired tattoo. I think I think my first anime tattoo is going to be a JoJo's tattoo. Why wouldn't it be? Exactly. What that's, other anime would you get? I mean, you're right because there are of and when I think fairy of, tale. No, I'd, I'd probably Soul Eater. But when I think of like other animes, I just the fuck? exactly right. It's not none of them are as I feel like as timeless. Yeah. As JoJo's and I think probably because JoJo's has been around for nearly forty years. Yeah, and like I wouldn't get it. Like I wouldn't get a Dragon Ball Z or Dragon Ball in general tattoo. I don't think. Um, just because I, I didn't grow up with it. We saw a tattoo at this tournament that we went to this past weekend. And the guy on his forearm had a tattoo of the, the Koopa clown car from Super Mario World. And instead of Bowser Jr. being in the clown car, it was Kid Goku. And that was the thing that covered the entirety of this guy's forearm. And I was just blown away at one the the idea right because i could never think of that i yes i did just go on a 20 minute tangent about how meowth just chooses not to wear clothes but <laughs> i never would have thought about that and it was just it was impressive it was really well done and i was i was just i was kind of jealous not of the tattoo itself but just everything that went into that the idea the the drugs that he must have taken to have that idea the the artist was really good and the execution and the fact that he's kept it clean for how, God knows how long he's at it. Yeah, I have to say that, I mean, I had I had someone ask me, you know, how like how far are you willing to go with your tattoos and like how, how many are you willing to get? And I was like, I'm stoked to to get more always. Like, yeah, I'm sure. always looking at new ideas. I'm always down to, we'll heck, definitely talk send, in, about... send in your tattoos. Like, yeah, if, if, you, you, if tattoos, you guys have any cool tattoos, like send some in. I'd love to see them. Just I'm always... describe them in the comments or um, send them to my personal um address which i will post right now my my p.o box it's I'm gonna... <laughs> um this is specifically if you have tattoos on your feet send them to this p.o box wait i'll find it okay yeah, 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 yeah. here we go um 1150 17th street uh northwest washington dc 236 that's the zip code um 
label it to the American Enterprise Institute for Public Policy Research. And if you know what that is, that is Dick Cheney's official <laughs> mailing address. So, I mean, sorry, me. That's where I, that's where I live. Send it to me. Like send I said. Send your tattoo ideas to that address. Exclusively, if you're going to send in pics, exclusively tattooed feed pics. Yes. The, the only way, actually, if you are going to send a picture of your tattoo that's not on your feet is if you also send feed pics. Yes. So we can identify you. Yes. Yeah. So then I, all I have to see is your tattoo. And then, uh, and or your feet. And then yeah. we know who you are. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. 100%. Yeah. Well, probably give it, you know, the, the picture a nice deep inhale through the nostrils. Look, I'm, I'm, I'm begging you. <laughs> Please. <Jesus. laughs> Please send Dick J. Feet pics. We're running low on our supply and that, that <laughs> mythical AI that was supposed to create feet pics for you. Oh my God. If you text this number, it's not working. Someone shut it down. I, I think it was Dick Cheney. <laughs> I, I love the the feet pick ai in that the the picture is just like give me the 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 example that they tweeted out was just like send me feet pick and the the ai was like okay and just sent like two fucking potatoes on a stick that were supposed to be recognizable as feet also let us know if you want us to go a little bit more in depth or like have a segment on like pokemon and no shut up (laughs) pokemon and clothes (laughs) because <laughs> I actually have a lot to say about the idea of, like, Pokemon evolving with items, including clothes, or, like, carrying items. I just, oh, yeah. I have a lot to say on that topic. That was something that so I... So if that's something that you want us to talk about, I, I got a bit. Like, I, I've got it. That is definitely something that I thought I should have talked about in my 20-minute rant about Pokemon and wearing clothes. Mostly just rather not, you know, the free will of whether... Well, you didn't let me speak or breathe throughout that entire 20 minute conversation so i'd like to if you guys would like to hear my side of the i had to go over the theoretical moral implications of whether or not meowth actually chooses to wear clothes or whether see yeah you're you're approaching it from a psychological standpoint i'm looking at it that's not that's a philosophical standpoint i'm I'm sorry whether or not it starts with a p (laughs) it starts with a ph that doesn't mean anything wow Wow. (laughs) just like a phd exactly Oh, Lord. Okay, we're going to end this episode. Remember to brush your teeth. Stay warm. Brush your tongue. Brush your tongue. That's the most important one. How could I forget? Floss. I don't care which, but floss. Yeah. And um, send feet pics of Dick Cheney.